Preliminary votes on the Brexit deal have begun in the European Parliament, ahead of our landmark consent vote due on 29th of January. The Committee on Foreign Affairs met this week. We discussed everything from Russia to human rights in Saudi Arabia, but we also voted on a letter recommending consent to the proposed Brexit deal. The letter expressed regret at Britain's departure, and that regret is very genuine and very deep here. And it pointed out the threat that Brexit poses on foreign policy, and in particular, European security and defence cooperation, in which the UK is such an important player. But the letter did recommend consent to the Brexit deal. So I voted against it, pointing out the Brexit deal is bad for Britain and bad for Europe. The deal still hasn't guaranteed citizens' rights either for Brits in Europe or Europeans in a post-Brexit Britain. It promises complex, untested and possibly only temporary arrangements in Northern Ireland, which may not work and might still open the way back to a hard border on the island of Ireland with all the potential risks to peace and security that could bring. And the legally binding part of the deal no longer includes a commitment to a level playing field between the UK and the EU single market. That opens the door to lower environmental and health and safety standards in Britain. And just this week I discovered another reason to vote against the deal, prompted by a meeting on the tragic Boeing MAX crashes caused by a technical failure that wasn't picked up by American regulators. That's left the European Air Safety Agency, EASA, as the gold standard for aircraft safety worldwide. But Boris Johnson has quietly deleted Britain's commitment to stay in the EASA from the legally binding part of the withdrawal agreement. So air safety regulation will now be yet another bargaining chip in the coming Brexit negotiations. My hope is that in our impatience to get all this done, we don't overlook really important issues like air safety or long-term peace in Northern Ireland. We may only realise how much damage Brexit will do after these votes have been cast, and it's too late to go back.